Nicky. Oh, Nicky Ceausescu Jr. <laughs> Nicky Wicky, I am so sorry. Yeah, well, look, if I, yeah, I know you're having a hard time. I can see that on the telly. If I knew there were going to be riots, I would never have booked you in. What, cockroaches? You're not serious. And bed bugs? But it's got five stars in the German Bed and Breakfast Guide. Oh, the East German Bed and Breakfast Guide. Sorry. Yeah. Boris, at last. Listen, Nicky, got to go. Got Yeltsin on the other line. Huh? No, I certainly will not remember you two. <laughs> Boris, how are you? How's Russia? Huh? People still eating their pets, are they? <laughs> no, you've run out of pets. I bet you wish you still had Gorby to blame everything on, eh? <laughs> Listen, Boris, shut up. No, shut up. Shut, shut, shut up. How do you fancy earning some hard currency? Yeah? <laughs> no, don't start crying. What are friends for? <laughs> Listen, there are certain frozen items I want you to get for me. Yeah, no, 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 don't panic. It's nothing edible. It's that certain special little thing you've got. Yeah? All right, let's deal. What do you say to five American dollars? <laughs> Boris, you are one tough cookie. But, OK, six American dollars. <laughs> yep, and a firkin of Grecian 2000. <laughs> oh, this has got to go. Valkyrie from next door has just popped in for a cup of Wagner. Oh, I see you're watching it too. It's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah, we cancelled it in Britain years ago. Cancelled what? Just on Frontier. <laughs> Although in England we called it It's a Knockout, because anywhere he couldn't speak French properly. <laughs> or English, come to think of it. You don't cough. Neo-Nazi thugs are attacking a hostel full of terrified refugees and you think it's a game show? Of course, it's a traditional German pastime of slav baiting. <laughs> this is serious. This is happening in our constituency. We have a responsibility. We, excuse me, excuse me. We have a responsibility? You may have a responsibility, but I happen to be British and we don't go in for firebombing refugees. No, that's because you don't let them even into your country. Precisely. It's a much simpler solution all round. <laughs> and what about the poll tax riots? <laughs> Better a poll tax than a tax on polls. <laughs> you can't leave it alone, can you? You can't stop crowing about the damn war. War? Did I mention the war? That we won? Either of them? <laughs> no, it's simply musing on the inherent violence of the German race. <laughs> We are not inherently violent. <laughs> yes, you are. No, we are not! <laughs> oh, my God, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over no, me. That's quite all right. You couldn't help yourself. You're a German. <laughs> Come along. Sit down and tell me exactly what it is you'd like me to do for you. You have influence over her Fletcher Dervish. Can't you get him to do something for those poor refugees? All right. I don't see why not. You take your clothes off and I'll see what I can come up with. <laughs> Not like prepared to negotiate. <laughs> Commissioner Fletcher Dervish's office. Who's that? Piers. We can't be. I'm Piers. It's me, Sarah. What do you want? I'm not going to the Israeli Defence Minister's reception tonight. Why not? Can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Commissioner in? No, I think he just popped out to a potty training class. Can I? <laughs> I'm Commissioner Kleist, MEP for Over Saxony. <gasps> God, you're the one who has to share a seat with Alan. Oh, you poor thing. Have a drink. Thank you. I had hoped to persuade the Commissioner to do something for those poor refugees. Oh, Piers doesn't do anything without Alan's permission. Have you asked him? That piece of dreck? He wouldn't give yesterday's newspaper to a man with diarrhoea. It's <laughs> my husband. I'm still a scheisshund. I agree. I only married him for his money. Nothing else? Not the great lover he purports to be? Oh, he has his moments, but not enough of them to add up to a minute. <laughs> Since he seems to have a cocktail gherkin between his legs, it's sometimes hard to know what's going on. Are you married? My sexual orientation is my own business. Now, do you actually know where the commissioner is? I do now. It is in code? No, Piers just has problems with his vowel movements. Dinner with Alan and the NZs. New Zealanders? <gasps> Could be a butter mountain fiddle. Unless it stands for Nazis. Oh, no, not even Alan could be that vulgar. <laughs> right down the... Oh. <laughs> no, not... <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> Piers, does anyone know where you're going? Don't be silly. I don't even know where I'm going. Good. Keep it that way. Right. That's your speech. Don't worry, there aren't any long, complicated words in it. But why? Well, you promised to explain. You already, Piers, I know. Yes. Hmm? Don't explain. Oh, it's complicated. Please. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, Lambert. Right. Come on, Piers. Pull this one off, Piers, and your reputation will be transformed. Why, well, they might even erect a statue to you. What? Like Nelson's collar. No, I was thinking something more along the lines of that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hasn't he got a small winky? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you think, sir? Merci, votre savoir is in for that home, my lad. 
thousand men having the same. Go see what the boys in the back room will have. Hello, Tiger. Get some zip, boys. Well, 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 Monsieur Le Coeur. <laughs> I didn't know you could use a spoon. Whatever next, you'll be surprising us all and trying out a knife and fork. Get the mayor, bastard. You don't impress anyone here. <laughs> David Mallow would love you. <laughs> Why are you here? I am here this evening, gentlemen, to introduce you all to your new leader. <laughs> you? No, not me. I'm referring to Commissioner the Honourable Sir Piers Fletcher Dervish. Huh? <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> Rather chilly for the time of year, don't you think? <laughs> Start slowly and build to a Hitlerian crescendo. <laughs> this is a crucial time for Western Europe and its people. We are threatened by hordes of Slavs who want to take our jobs, by waves of dark-skinned aliens from the South who want to destroy our churches. Oh, yes, by the international Jewish banking conspiracy. Yeah. Oh, that's not very nice, Alan. <laughs> the TSB was very helpful with my loft conversion. Come on, advising peers, and get on! <laughs> that is why we need a man of vision. Yes, absolutely! Yeah. 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 A hero for the moment who can weld Western Europe into a pure fortress state. Yeah. Yeah. And such a man of vision stands before you today for three seconds. Three cheers for Pierce Richard Dervish. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I do not mean me. I must remain a shadowy figure working behind the scenes to aid our cause. No, we must turn to Alan Bastard, the natural successor to the Fuhrer. <laughs> Moi? Yeah. Piers, this is unexpected. Very well, I accept. If that is the general feeling... <laughs> that is not the general feeling. No, 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 no. Really? Then perhaps we should take a vote on it. A vote? We are fascists, not Democrats. <laughs> But if you want to take over this party, you have to depose me. And the last man who challenged André Le Coup is sleeping with the fishers. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. I had a tank of goldfish when I was sitting in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Very well then, Monsieur Le Coup. You stay on as leader and let your movement remain of festering irrelevance. A couple of hundred thugs with bad table manners. But let me meet your real masters and we'll see if they're so complacent. Masters? What do you mean, my masters? I'm talking about the old guard. The ones who are in the bunker at the very end. Yes, that's right. Come, Piers. I want to speak to the Fourth Reich, not the Fifth Rate. I have a date with destiny. Oh, you think she's got a friend? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Alan, it's me. Me? Who's me? Hey, Nicky. Oh, baby Chow Chow, how are things? Got any sightseeing? Oh, he's not here. Listen, if you want to get any of Daddy's money, you better bloody get me out of here. If I get recognized, I'm a dead man. Alan, 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 look, look, there's a special delivery from the Mr. Yeltsin. Look, he's excited. Why, this? You open it up. Alan, yeah, yeah, listen, Nicky, I'm still here. And I've got great news. I've just received the very thing that's going to guarantee your freedom. Oh, just sit tight and think of the money. Ah! It's a bomb! It's going to explode! Piers, <laughs> the last time this thing exploded was when Eva Braun shook hands with it. Why, what is it? Hitler's knob. <laughs> I mean, it's only got one. Yes, Commissioner. <laughs> See? For a start, Fletcher Dervish with André Le Coup. That's unbelievable. I know. But anybody should bother to take a Polaroid of someone with their clothes on. <laughs> what does it matter? They're just a bunch of thugs, like Lloyd's underwriters, but with worse haircuts. If for start uses control over them, well, he's cunning. He's plausible, and he can be charming. Daddy always said Hitler could be charming. Your father knew Hitler? Well, only socially. We don't discuss politics. <laughs> The point I am making is that under Alan, this rabble can be dangerous. They can destabilize Europe, they can lead us back to the old days of race hatred and war. Unless we stop Alan now the way Hitler should have been stopped before he seized power, we what are... What exactly do you have in mind? Assassination, of course. Will you help me? I don't know anything about politics, but anything that ends Alan's life as violently as possible gets my vote. <laughs> 
Like you, I revere the Fuhrer's memory. For was not Adolf Hitler the greatest and most successful leader of the 20th century? And if he returned today, would he not recognize and indeed be proud of his Europe? He too wanted a Europe ordered by a strong Deutschland. He too wanted a Europe, nay, a world dominated by tall, blonde German athletes. And who in this room has not felt his loins stirring at the sight of Steffi Graf's buttocks? Straining inside the tight white tennis knickers, whilst in her hands she caresses those furry balls. Fantastic! But I digress. And who is the strong man, the man of action, who will lead Europe in its time of distress? Jacques Delors? John Major? For make no mistake, our entire civilization is under assault. Millions of subhuman Slavs are invading our land, bringing ignorance, bringing disease, bringing economic disaster. Why, even as we speak, in my Saxon constituency, a mob of so-called refugees <laughs> is living it up, living it up at the taxpayer's expense, no. while the cream of the cream of mushroom, mushroom soup, <laughs> the cream of right-wing youth, riot pointlessly outside their hostel. But we are outnumbered. Yeah. Too many police and say yeah. water cannon. Yeah. Yes, yes, and it's all a bluff. What? Uh. Two nights ago. The refugees were secretly moved to a luxury hotel. Oh. Yes, yes, the honest German Volk are paying for them to take jacuzzis, to use room service, and to watch cable television, showing blue movies of Aryan women disporting themselves for their sexual gratification. Oh. You, what is your name? Reinhard Uberer. Reinhard Uberer, sir! Reinhard Uberer, sir! Reinhard, this is the address of the five-star hotel where the refugees are laughing at you. Teach them a lesson. Yeah! We are committed to action. But action alone is not enough. <laughs> for our revolution, for it is nothing less, <laughs> requires a symbol. And I wonder if there is any man in this room here tonight who would recognize the Fuhrer's body were I to suddenly produce it. <laughs> yes, the rumors are true. The Russians have Adolf Hitler's body perfectly preserved ah. in deep freeze. <sighs> Apart that is from a little piece which got shot off when he killed himself rather than face the petty vengeance of his enemies. And I have with me today that piece of his body. Ah. Piers, the flask. That was my mushroom suit. <laughs> I knew the Fuhrer. I was the leader of his special bodyguard. Oh, really? Yes. I wanted to die with him. But he ordered me out of the bunker. Said Fritzi, no point you dying here. Save yourself and help to build a new Reich. That is what I did. Today, I am chairman of one of the biggest chemicals. Yeah, all right, all right. I didn't want to know if you knew the old sod. <laughs> no, I mean, Fuhrer. I knew him intimately. Really? Then did you ever see him naked? I was his bodyguard. I accompanied him everywhere, even when he bathed. And no doubt you would recognize this. My God, that's right. Hitler's meat and one veg. <laughs> yes, it is. I recognize Goebbels' cheese marks. <laughs> How did you get it? I paid Boris Yeltsin $10 million for this. <laughs> and for a further $40 million, we can have the entire body oh, to stand oh, as an inspiration oh, to the master race. Oh, yes, but where am I to get this spare $40 million? I never thought I would see this day, a bastard. I am the last custodian of Adolf Hitler's treasure hidden in a Swiss bank since 1945, waiting to be used to finance the false Reich. <laughs> if we offer you this money, a bastard, will you lead us? <laughs> <laughs> what did that mean? There's a place for you in the New Europe. Well, you can be the keeper of the Fuhrer's fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur Le Portard. <laughs> I will go and make the necessary arrangements. So now... Adam, what? Adam, can we go now? I'm starving. Shut up and eat your kick, <laughs> So now, my stormtroopers, the time has come to raise our right arms and swear the blood oath. Repeat after me! Yeah, the wrapper's all sticky. Yeah, the wrapper's all sticky! <laughs> it's not quite so good. It's all gummy at the bottom. And look, the lining comes out. Oh, shit! Run like buggery! Oh, oh shit! shit! Run, Run like buggery! <laughs> Very quick.
quiet out there. Do you think they've all gone home? It could be a trick. Minicab, Mickey Chat Rescue Jr. That's me. <laughs> Shit! What? Stop him! Stop him! My father paid to have this door installed. Nobody else has the code. <laughs> oh, God. This is all making me feel so horny. <laughs> Fifty million dollars worth. <laughs> oh. Well, Nicky, you should have a very comfortable exile on your half. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Now, I know I promised you half if you got me out of Romania, but... Don't tell me. Now you're so overwhelmed with gratitude, you want me to have all of it. Oh, no, you didn't get caught either. <laughs> Mr. Pastor! <laughs> Fritzy Witsy! <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? How did you know I was going to be here? Well, I, I didn't. I just, you know, popped over for a couple of bars of Toblerone and a cuckoo clock. <laughs> That's your idea. <laughs> you would see. This box has not been opened since 1945. Jules! Really? I never had him down as such a flamboyant dresser. <laughs> this is nonsense. These were my fathers. Uh, Bastard. Who is this? Absat. Oh, uh, Nicky Ceausescu Jr., heir to the late dictator of Romania, Colonel Fritz Vessel, keeper of the Führer's force. That <laughs> is the legacy of the Führer. The communist was it. Liberated it for the people. Look, the royal crown of Romania. Well, since it actually belongs to Crown Prince Carol, who is having treatment at the moment in a Harley Street clinic for sexual disorientation, <laughs> I should look after it. The Führer's will! Yeah, makes a change from his willy. This is what... Come Alan! Alan, help me! That's all. Alan! Let's see, reopen the 31st of the 12th, 1999. Uh, yeah. Have you given time to sort out the differences? <laughs> <laughs> This afternoon, a mysterious explosion near Brussels Drinking Club wiped out André Lecoul and the rest of the leadership. We did it! I'm a widow. <laughs> I shouldn't really be laughing. And I'm supposed to be a pacifist. About the screaming neo -Nazi skinheads mounted an unprovoked attack on the Rostock Holiday Inn, where the Israeli defense minister is staying during the current NATO exercise. The minister's bodyguard, a crack contingent of Israeli commandos, took what they called minimum defensive action. So far, the death toll stands at 760. <laughs> I'd better be going now. My partner will be worrying. Oh, no, no, no. Phone him or her and say you're helping to comfort a bereaved friend. All right. Oh. <laughs> I'll stay. <laughs> yeah, but only if I can walk. <gasps> what are you doing here? Why aren't you dead? <laughs> well, apparently, I can't be blown up that easily. Although, uh, you're both welcome to try. <laughs> that was a disgusting suggestion. <clears throat> On the other hand... 